Hi guys, welcome. Whoa, I'm so washed out right now. Welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be a week in my life. Cannot believe tomorrow is December. But yeah, I ooh, I am working today. Later today after work, I'm going to go to the gym for the first time in five months probably six months so that's exciting very nervous slash excited to go back to the gym pretty sure i'm not as strong as i used to be but it'll be fine i think i got my cold brew my breakfast oats that i always make bananas chocolate chip peanut butter and yeah i'm gonna work now i'll see you guys after work oh, oh my gosh anyway i'll see you guys after work Just trying to sort out my baby hairs as per usual. Uh, baby hairs. I've just finished work. At worked. I've just finished work and I'm about to go to the gym. Yeah, I am going to be working of my entire body today because my gym is only allowing 45 minute sessions per person. So 45 minutes is an okay amount of time if you're just doing upper body but if you're doing lower body it's not enough at least for me it's not i would need at least an hour or an hour and a half to do just my lower body so i might as well just do full body workouts to get everything in make, make the most out of my 45 minutes there but first i'm going to quickly work uh warm up a little i'm going to do some foam rolling exercises <laughs> That really hurts. <sighs> I'm going to warm up with some light exercises. I'm gonna do bent over dumbbell flies.
Hi, so it is night time now and I thought I'd share something new that I've been trying recently. Just let me put on my lip mask first. I wear this every single day. I know it's a sleeping, it's a lip sleeping mask but I wear it on when I'm not even sleeping. When I wear it when I go to the grocery store. I just have this all day every day. It's so good. But anyway, that wasn't what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to share that I've recently started... What do you call this? Gua Sha? Using a Gua Sha massage thingy for my face. And I've only done it twice, so I don't really see a difference in my face yet. I know you're not supposed to do it on dry skin. Dry skin? You need some kind of oil or cream or something. So I'm gonna use my rosewood. The Ordinary Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. Yeah, I'm gonna use that all over my skin. And then massage the Gua Sha thingy all over my face. I've got like three drops of the oil. I used to use this oil a lot. And I find it really helps fade my scar, so I really like it. Okay. I think I've got it everywhere now. Okay, I'm gonna use whatever left whatever that's left over on my arms. I'm gonna do it all over. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'm gonna demonstrate how I do it. I just follow stuff on YouTube. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right though, so if I'm not doing it right, please don't come at me. Please tell me nicely. <laughs> I think you're, I guess you're supposed to, I don't know, I don't know how to explain, but I guess you're just supposed to massage your face using the thing, using the ridges. I did this couple, I think last week or two weeks ago. I did it one night and then the next morning my jaw was so sore, so I don't know if it's a good kind of sore or a bad sore. I don't know if that's meant to happen or not, so... I do it very slowly, but I've seen videos where people do it quite fast. If I remember correctly, this thing is supposed to get rid of toxins in your body or your face. I'm not sure which is the right one. It glides so easily when I've got the rose hip oil on my face, so... Now I'm just doing this along my cheekbones. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go this side or this side. Does it make sense? I think it's this side. Yeah. Okay, I know you can do your forehead as well, but I don't know which part of the stone to use. Maybe it's this. <laughs> I'm not doing this right. I feel like an idiot. That's it. Do I look skinnier now?
This is going to be such a workout. The zipper compartment thingy for this pillowcase is so small. I have to finesse my way through it to squish it like this and then push it in because the zipper is tiny. I did it! This is what I mean when I say the zipper is tiny. It goes from here all the way here instead of the entire pillowcase. It's a struggle bus. show you guys a hack to put your duvet in your duvet cover or, or whatever it is you want to call it take your quilt cover take it inside out place it on your bed make sure it's laid flat inside out you just lay your comforter on top of the quilt cover you can see i put my quilt on top of the quilt cover that i've turned inside out and it's now laid flat the whole of the quilt cover where the quilt goes in is at my pillows so what you want to do is you roll your quilt on the opposite side of where your whole of the quilt cover is if that makes any sense just fold it or roll it yeah fold it like that then once you fold everything and it looks like this you take your hand into the hole of the quilt cover can you see this is the right side so you just put it into the hole and pull everything out i don't know if that makes any sense so i'm just gonna link the video for you guys in the description box and then now you just unfold it hi guys so i think the last time I vlogged was yesterday when I was at the gym or going back, coming back from the gym. It's Friday now. I went to the post office because they lost my parcel. So I was trying to figure out how to get that back. But basically after the post office, I went to Woolies to do a quick grocery shopping. To do... What? I went to Woolies to quickly shop some stuff for my meal right now. Which is this thing from HelloFresh. One thing I like about HelloFresh is you can remake the recipes that come with your orders. This is how they turn out. Hope you guys can see that. I hope I don't drop this. It is Friday. Friday? Saturday, 5th December. I've got a gym session at 10 a.m. which is in 4.34 minutes and I'm currently doing some warm-ups, some stretches and then I'm going to walk to the gym as per usual. Oh, I'm so washed out. There we go. Hi, so the last clip you saw, that was a big fail because I got very, very intimidated, intimidated at the gym. I was the only girl in the weight section, which normally is fine. But because I was trying to work on my chest that day and also shoulders and triceps and my a bit of my legs. But when it comes to chest exercises, I get very self-conscious at the gym. So I did not film. Well, I did film this. I'll insert it right now. I did film like me doing high rows and overhead presses and that's about it i freaked out i stopped recording myself and yeah i also made another mistake which was me not planning my workouts properly because i forgot normally i plan out my workouts before i go to the gym and then bust out those exercises and then go home but because i forgot i was so i don't know it was terrible it wasn't an, it wasn't a great gym day but quick change of scenery because the lighting is better i think and you can't really see my crazy baby hairs from this angle but um, I went to Camberwell Market this morning and it was really fun and I've not been to Camberwell Market in about a year now actually and I'm so glad it's back so that was fun and I'm also going to end the vlog here I'm going to end it with a 
little fun montage of my morning at Camberwell. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Next week's video is probably going to be another vlog, I think. It might be a fun one. I am getting my hair done next week, which is very exciting. So stay tuned. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay till the end to watch a little montage of Camberwell. Please like the video if you liked it. Bye!